So, you clicked on this video because you're either a newbie to the game of Demon Slayer, you're sick of people button smashing you that either is a pro at the game or either just a new person to the game and they just press whatever button, you're trash at the game, or either you're sick of playing against people that have been playing Naruto Storm for, for 48 hours straight, 50 hours straight, 20 hours straight, don't matter how many hours straight, how many days straight, and he decides to hop on Demon Slayer and decides to fuck you up. I'm gonna be telling you guys at least six or seven tips on what to do, how to play this game, and you know, just some tips that you should keep in mind when you're in a match fighting against someone. Now, before we start this video, I just wanna say thank you guys for clicking on it. That's all I want to say. I appreciate you guys giving me your time and teaching you guys how to play this game. And also, drop a like if you could. Let's try to get 15 likes. And yeah, let's just get it started. All right, you guys, so I turned off my webcam because you know, I don't want you guys just seeing my face the whole time. You know, me trying to explain something to you. I want to show you guys the gameplay of what I'm doing so you can guys, you know, see what I'm doing and see how I counter attack or defend. Now, the first tip I got for you guys, you know, just a little simple tip when you like first bought the game and you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna have to like play every character that you have unlocked so far or that you bought. You know, if you got the deluxe version, you know, you got more characters, but play every character at least once. Now, the reason why I want you to play them at least once is because you're going to have to figure out what's your play style. If these characters are comfortable with you and you only and, you know, you just want to experiment because sometimes playing the OP characters, you still might lose. It's just like when you play Mortal Kombat and Scorpion is the most OP character to use because of his combos, but you can still lose because you don't know how to use them. That's why I'm just telling you for this first tip, play each character that you unlocked so far one time, experiment them in an online moach match, I say moach, in an online match, CPU, or just practice mode, and just play them all one time. Figure out their combos, look at their list, see how they do it, and yeah, that's all you really gotta do. And then whoever is, seems the most comfortable to you and seems better to you, then choose them. And that's when we go to the second tip, the follow-up tip. Once you choose that person and you think that he is goaded to you. Now, for example, the gameplay that you're seeing right now is Makomo. And right now, I think she's like in the middle of damage, but she is so quick with her combos. Her combos just seem smooth and everything. That's why I don't really be playing as the OP characters like Zenitsu and all them other niggas, bro. That's why I like to play, you know, Makamo because she's more comfortable to me. You know, she's my girl and everything. I do the combos right and I just instantly win. I just beat most, not everybody, but I beat most of the people that be button smashing me and knows all the combos to all the OP characters in this Demon Slayer game. But yeah, as you can see, this character is all right for me and once you learn this person i've been practicing her for two days straight once you learn this person once you learn whatever person that you play as you'll be goaded in the game so now that we're done with these two tips of me explaining to you uh, what to do with the what you know once you choose your character you're gonna have to choose your character practice him or her in the practice mode play that for a little bit until you get comfortable and then i would guarantee you you improve all right, so now we're in the third tip on how to improve this game. And the third tip that I got to tell you guys is movement. Now, the type of movement that you're going to have to be doing in this game, you're going to have to be always moving, moving, and make sure you're always on your guard. Now, what I mean by this, for example, you're going to have to always dash when you're trying to attack, when you're trying to back up, when you're trying to defend yourself or anything. You cannot just stand there or just use the regular moving stick to dodge or whatever. You're going to have to dash at all times because if they dash into you when they attack, you can easily do uh, dash to the left, to the right, or go up to the air and, and dash it like that. Telling you this is the most guaranteed way that you're going to improve if you just keep dashing. Now, don't dash all all the time because that's, that might lead you into you know their hits. That's why you just gotta make sure you're smart with it, make sure your IQ is up and just dash when it is necessary and you know, almost at all times. But th that's the thing, it's just basically don't stand still and don't be moving around like a bot, just make sure you dash into or dash to back up. And that's all you really gotta do when you're fighting. It will really help you a lot. And yeah, just make sure you have 
your finger right next to the dash button or you know you're gonna mess yourself up now for my fourth tip it is guarding now when you're guarding you gotta make sure that you flick your left stick your left analog stick to your opponent which causes them to bump now when you bump them it gives you a little slight opening to counter attack them and then you could do your combos on them or whatever you're trying to do now doing this is the only way you're gonna escape their combos you know when you get stuck because if you don't do it like this you're not gonna get you know button smashed with those 22 hit combos and then you're messed up that's why every time you guard just make sure you keep flicking and flicking all over again until you see that opening once you see that opening abuse it combo it up send your second person that you chose for you know in a rank match use him so he can make more combos and then just stack it all up and then there you go bro i've been doing that every game so many people just like to attack first that's why i wait until they attack me first because i guard bumped them counter attack and then they end up to a combo and then they get murked now when you're doing this when you're guarding and you have your you know your special move your ultimate art make sure that when you do it when you do that combo make sure you look at their health bar and see if it's worth it because once you use your ultimate art i'm about to explain on why you should use your ultimate art in a combo you know it just basically stacks up in damage and you might even finish the person because ultimate this ultimate art in the boost and whatever the thing that you see on the left side left bottom or the right bottom of your screen it is broken in this game and it you could finish a person like that if you could stack it up all to three it really does a lot of damage i don't know if they're gonna fix it or not but yeah that's why and, and it also regenerates that's another thing i gotta say it regenerates really quickly too and you can instantly use it in a combo whenever you need to so you don't have to worry about saving it for oh i might need it when i'm at one hp no, just use it when you think it's the time is right when you're doing your combo and then say if your combo is finished, you use your ultimate art, boom, there you go. Now, I'm about to explain this more. It is on a, I think in a couple, after I'm done explaining the first thing I was saying about, you know, guarding and breaking. So when you guard and break, just make sure you use the combo if you want, if you want to. Trust me, it worked. Now for boosting, we're on to boosting. Now I got a tip for you guys about the boost in this game. What the boost does is just makes your attacks faster and give you more hard knocks than usual. Letting you again do more combos and making it impossible for your opponent to counter you. Now, if you use your boost instead of your ultimate art, you just gotta make sure that you use it while it's still on. Because if you wasted your ultimate art just for a boost, then tell them you're, you're really gonna regret it. That's why you just gotta make sure whenever you use your boost, make sure that you get in him into a combo. If you can't get into a combo, then make sure you just, you know, just guard as usual, bump him, wait until the opening comes, and then do what you gotta do. But yeah, boosting is really good if you want, like, say for example, a person just blocks the whole game. This would really help you unblock them, you know, make sure they get bumped, hard knocked, and then there you go, you got your combo right there. They might lose their support, and there you go, your combo's right there, so they have no absolute, you know, way to get away from you because you're in the boost, they wasted their, their support, and they're right in the open. All right, so now for the sixth tip, it's basically what I was saying in the fourth tip about, you know, um, guarding. But it's just basically your ultimate art. Now your ultimate art is like basically an x-ray or, you know, in Mortal Kombat or the Naruto Storm, um, whatever, you know, just ba basically power up special move. Now, what I've seen so far when I'm playing this game is that most people has been using their ultimate art for combos. Now, you got to make sure that your combo is right and that your opponent is not blocking when using your uh, ultimate art. Because as you can see in your bar from the bottom left or bottom right, whichever side you are, you have one, two, and three. Those are the numbers. So that what it means is one, two, or three is if it's one, that's the lowest amount of damage that your special move is going to do. When it's on two, is medium. Three is going to be higher. And then three, two, one is basically if you're at three, say you missed the first one, then you have two more chances to do it. Miss the second one, then you have one more chance. If you have one, then you only have one chance to do it. That's just you know a little tip out there. If you guys don't know what it you know what is talking about when you see three, two, or one, it's just basically how many chances you have to hit this ultimate art onto your opponent, and then it's also you know telling you how much damage is gonna be if it's at one, two, or three. But yeah, you know, see most people using their ultimate arts into their combos, doing a lot of damage, especially if their combos are really high damage to you. 
So yeah, just make sure you use your ultimate art into a combo if you really want to. If not, you don't have to, but I'm telling you it's really worth it, especially if their health is like at least halfway and you're not sure about the round. Now, before using your ultimate art, you gotta make sure that you don't use it as they're on their guard. And what I mean is like when they put their sword up or if you're playing as a demon, they're just blocking. Cause once you miss it, you're gonna regret missing that because it leaves an opening towards your opponent to do a combo on you and they might even use their ultimate art on you. Sometimes you gotta have to make sure that you aim it cause if you don't aim it, you're gonna just pass by them and you're really gonna regret it, like I said. So just make sure that you're really smart with your ultimate art, practice it in a practice mode just to get it right until you 100% think you're sure that you're gonna get it right. Now for my last tip, it's just really a short tip, you know, just basically saying, have fun, don't really, you know, frustrate over the game like I've been doing when the game first came out because of these Naruto Storm Shinobi Strikers and whatever game they've been playing, you know, button smashers, just pissing me off. But you know, just have fun. It's, you, it's nothing really to worry about. Just have fun, keep your head up, have a nice mindset, and I guarantee you, you'll get better at this game if you have a good mindset. All right, you guys, so that was basically it for this video. This is one of my first videos first anime game videos that i ever done on this channel i was getting sick of apex and i just wanted to do something different i might be doing this for a little bit until apex season 11 comes out but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and any of these tips helps you you know this guide make sure you drop a like let's try to get to 15 and yeah i'm out of here